I was going to go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings. You f***ing irritate the shit out of me! I'm only going to get this one chance. It's just a feeling I've got. Like something's about to happen, but I don't know what. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gap Sell Keenan. I'm your host, Keenan. For those of you who don't know, Gap Sell Keenan is a real live sales call where a real salesperson has a product or service they believe my company, ASG, or I could use. And if they if they have a, find a problem that I have, we will buy. If not, they subject themselves to my coaching. They subject themselves to my coaching regardless anyways. However, if they can find a problem, we will buy. And we have bought before. So with that note, we have, uh-oh, I, Nick Femigetti. Oh, I got it. Like spaghetti. Spaghetti with the family. Fam, Famigetti. We're going to bring Nick in here. Nick is going to go through this. with our second shot because we had technical difficulties the other day. But that's an advance to Nick. So see what he learned on the first one. So, Nick, welcome, my man. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I'm okay, sorry. good. <laughs> yeah, so I'll give you two seconds to walk everybody through what you do. Um, mm -hmm. And then you know the drill. Like, you get two right. minutes, a minute, whatever you want to take to make give some people some background uh, and what it is you sell. And then you have me 15 minutes to get me to find a problem. Right on. Okay. Uh, so for those that haven't looked at or don't know Melt Studio, we are uh, a near shore software development agency. Uh, we focus, our niche is working with startups, um, early seed, bootstrapped, series A companies that are just starting to build out uh, prototypes, MVPs, uh, and just kind of either need some guidance or uh, they got a really good idea, but just don't do the, the keyboard warrior stuff themselves. So we're there to help out. All right. There you go. What is it again? Mind what? Melt Studio. Melt Studio. Blending everything together. Yes. Yep. Melt Studio. Okay. Nick from Melt Studio. Game on. Nice. Um, so uh, similar to last time, uh, I kind of wanted to go through with, this is what I found uh, based on my internet research, but I mean, internet is imperfect. So please correct me in where I'm wrong. Um, the first problem that I had identified was in through your different uh, training courses. Um, obviously, your your bread and butter for a long time had been um, your online, not your online, the in person training. And it was, if I remember right, uh, around questions, man, just ask questions. Just ask okay. questions. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I seen that uh, you are now offering your online training, but you've got a grayed out area for your advanced levels for prospecting and for the managers. Yes. Okay. Um, and I think we identified, but you're going to have to remind me again on the, at least the online uh, courses. Uh, what was that per month or per year? What do you mean when you say? What uh, what, how, so I, as an individual, I'm signing up for your okay, online yeah. courses. What's up pricing? $4.99 yeah. for an individual. Okay. $2,500 for the what we call the team plan up to five people. Then we have the company plan, I believe up to 12 or 15 people. That is 5,500. And then with the enterprise plan, which is up to 50 people, which is basically 1499 or 15K. Okay. Um, and then as people are progressing, uh, you shared with me that your prospecting and manager are uh, 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 like next tier, next level add-ons if someone wants to go through those courses as well when they're ready. Right. I, right? I, ask the, I don't understand the question. Ask it again. So there's two more modules, two more courses. Two more modules, yes. yet. Okay. Um, have you already priced out and, and know you're going to be using the for the prospecting courses? Price amount of how much we're going to charge? Yeah. So yes. hey, I want to sign up for the prospecting course. Yeah. What's same, it going to cost me? Uh, well, we until so we guess we haven't. Well, either increase the pricing of the whole thing. We'll probably have a bundle so you can buy, buy a bundle and pay a certain amount a month and get access to everything. Or if it's the, if it's the, if we do it a la carte, I don't know, prospecting would probably be three ninety nine per person or something like that. Okay. Uh, so no, we haven't really done it, but it would be in the ballpark, maybe a tad bit cheaper because the, the problem centric selling is the most important chunk. 
Gotcha. I'm using the 400 for the math today because that's what you told me. Right. Um, and uh, do you know, or do we need to ask Brady how long that wait list is right now? Uh, it's it's pretty long because it's been at least two years. We haven't added it. Why not? Uh, too expensive. Uh, and it's not only too expensive, but I'm also irritated. Uh, so you, I won't ask on the cost so much. It's a, on your OPEX for that. So, but why the irritation? Why, what's that bothering you for? No, I'll answer the question. It, it's could, well, I believe it's, it could cost anywhere around 30 K to, to build that piece. And the irritation okay. is when we went out and we hired the company to do this, you know, we'll take some ownership, how much I don't know, but they didn't fucking understand what we were trying to build. We were trying to build a uh, learning management system that had go with your own journey built into it. They built an application mm -hmm. that had build your own journey into it. So when it was all done, it looked great. And I was like, all right, now how do we add new videos and how do we do our next one? Like, oh, just call us. So we have to call them every time we want to add a new segment. Mm, okay. So I was fucking irate. Like that is, that is, we pointed them to things that we wanted. Like we want it to look like this and we want this. And somehow in the translation, it was not understood. So there are no way to build courses. There's no way to create admin controls. There's no way to add upload videos. There's no way to, to do the, the, um, the build your own journey process because it is it is way cool. It is a whole build your own journey process in there. So based on what how you answer questions, you are taken on a different journey. It's one of a kind, or at least it used to be one of a kind from a sales perspective. It's pretty sick. But it's no, we so we have to basically I have to budget 25, 30, 35 K a year to add a new thing. And yeah, it it pays itself back, but I'm just not in the mood. I'm just there. I'm not in the mood to spend 30 K every time I want a new um fucking thing so i that's i'm out so then are you looking for to develop that are you looking for something Stop. that you can do not ask me what do not ask me what i'm looking to build right now right that's the whole self-diagnosing thing right stay in my business because of course of i mean yeah that no don't don't ask me so, so this this question is about isn't about building this is a process question all right all right i'm fine sorry my bad um so the challenge I heard was to do any kind of add-ons, you got to go back and, and hire them each additional video or course. Yes. But it sounds like you want to build something that you can then run yourself after the fact. 100%. Okay. Uh, and then when you do, uh, do you already have someone or a team in place that's going to admin or watch over that? You're you're in you're in the cell mode. You're in full on cell mode. And no, I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't. I mean, I can go back to them. I can go back to them. Just back to back to person over and over again. Okay. Yeah. So long ass wait list four hundred. We don't know how much is losing out over there. Build your own journey. And so it's been what it sounds like. It's been sitting for a couple of years, and. Uh, the way I'm seeing it, I've got a, a really long wait list. You're, we're, I don't want to say losing, but it, does, it sounds like you're not gaining your yeah. $400 a month per person for however many times over. And that's just on the one module. You can exponentiate that for the manager course as well. So why are you continuing to put it off and wait until the next, uh, the next for the right solution? I just told you, I just, just told you, I did. I not just say, I just, whether it's on principle or whatever, I just don't want to budget $30,000 every time I got to do this. Every time. Okay. So it's, it look for a single, a single budget. One, one plan. Here's a project here. Stop comes. saying, stop saying what I'm looking for. You are in such yep. sell mode right now. Dude, Sorry. Let me tell you, let me yep. tell you, every, it's funny. Yep. And I, I feel bad for you, Nick, because I just got off a call with a client and I get passionate. By the way, it's not personal. Do not interpret this as personal. I get passionate, right? <sighs> I just went through this with a client and they were doing the same thing and it drives me insane. And I, and I said the same thing to them I'm about to say to you. You have no empathy right now. 
You have no empathy for where I am. And because you have no empathy, you're not able to ask good questions and you're not able to mm -hmm. help. You're not able to and go with me on the journey and you're not engaged in my business. All you're thinking about is how do I sell this motherfucker? How do I get him to buy my thing? You have no empathy on where I am, what's happening and the impact, the long-term impact. So watch this. You almost got there. You said, so you don't want to pay 30 K to keep building new stuff. And I said, no, it's just so that you don't get the prospecting one. I'm like, no. And then he says, so, and now you don't get the manager one. No. And he said, so, oh, that, and then you moved off. Now, if you had empathy, what should have jumped out at you? What should I be able to do? Well, you should be able to add those. No problem. You should be able to add on to your program. There you go. Not those. But there's, there's more levels. There's more courses. I'm going to imagine behind it. Yes, 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 yes. So where am I right now? Why am I so fired up? Not at you, but why am I so fired about this whole fucking thing right now? Because you, there's a long-term vision, but you're getting stymied because of, of a unknown budget right now. Because you have to keep no, going no, back. No, 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 not no. unknown budget. No, 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 I'm not, no. Not, not online budget. Um, it's just, it's a repeat budget. You want no, a one-time cost? No, that's the that's the that's the that's the short-term irritation that I don't want to spend this money. But what is really the cost to me here? You, you stay where you, you were. I mean, the, the cost is. I mean, there's a lot of different costs by not implementing this now. You are losing out the immediate money from the programming. You're losing out on your traction. I know you've been having some challenges with your SEO and organic search. Okay, make so a question, do me a favor. Ask a yeah. question. Uh, here's. In the vein, in the vein, everybody pay attention here. This is fucking good shit, but the poor guy is struggling, but I don't blame him, okay? You got to have empathy. Start with where you were going. You're like, you can't add stuff. Go from there. Ask a question. How many courses do you want to add? You're getting better. You're getting better. I don't know how many courses I want to have, but I want to be able to add courses infinitely. Okay. So it was here, infinite. This is yeah. empathy. Connect with me. What could happen if I'm able to add courses infinitely? Well, now you're able to grow as wide as you want and get as sticky and deep within your client base. Okay. So, all right. So I can, yes, yes. I can get sticky with my client base and deep. As it relates to the product I'm selling, why mm -hmm. do I want to be have infinite opportunities to add stuff? Then you have a broader clientele base. You have more things to offer to anybody, businesses yeah. or individuals. Okay, so yes, I have more stuff to offer, right? So if I have more stuff to offer, okay, you've, you've got about a B plus on that, okay? This is where you really want to get me though. I want to, I want you to ask a question. What do you want to create? That's the question I want you to ask. What are you trying to create with this fucking thing? Like you, you just never ask that. What are you trying to build with this thing? No, so not, so not how many courses, but what's your, what's your grand vision? Ah, fucking A. Yes, Nick. Yes. Can, All right. Did you see my frustration that this thing isn't going where I want it to go? Yes, it's about the money, but it's the grand vision. When we built this thing, we thought we would be able to have limitless, interactive, choose your own journey fucking programs. That all we'd have to do is go into the studio, fucking create these things. We could do one a month or not very nice, one a quarter, two or three a year. We could do smaller versions. We could do little snippets. We could do all this shit. Right now, this fuck, I like the guy, but this fucking dip wanted to listen to us. We might actually have the greatest online sales training fucking thing in the world. But we don't because he didn't fucking listen and he built an application and we can't start adding this stuff on a regular basis. We have to go back to him. And I, this is person, my own leadership and management, but I have to fucking keep writing a check for 20, 30, 40. I don't know what it is every time. And then, oh, by the way, watch this. We got to go through requirements gathering, right? We got to do all this shit. We have to fucking A. So, yes. 
I had a vision that I am now stuck with that I can't achieve. And I, and by the way, it generates too much money now. Like just this one little piece generates over six figures a year. So I can't tear it down. Like my vision was accurate. I'm thinking, fuck, if we had done this the way I wanted, we'd be millions on this thing right now. Mm -hmm. No one's ever seen me blow up like this. So you found a massive fucking problem and I'm irritated as shit. But well, see, I mean, you didn't find that. So this is your lesson. You did. Everybody, pay attention here. Every single person, Nick. You came in with a seller's mindset. And I know you were nervous, and I know I'm loud and I'm uh, intimidating. So I know that doesn't make it any easier, right? But you did. You came in with a seller's mindset, and that seller's mindset prevented you from having the empathy to understand where I was going based on the answers I was giving you. Mm -hmm. I gave you an answer, and you're looking. How do I turn this into a sale? How do I find the problem? I'm telling everybody. You find the problem by trying to understand. And the more you have empathy and you lean in and you try to understand why did he want these three additional things? What was his vision of this? You see what I'm saying? You were going to, why didn't you get it done? Why didn't it happen? What's keeping you from getting there? You never got to, well, what were you trying to accomplish in the first place? Right? Yep. And so you, if, if this hadn't been this show, you very well could have missed a massive problem, massive problem that I had because you didn't get there. Just, just to the left. Okay. So now you got all the information. Go. What do you want to do with it? Uh, so I've got the grand vision for it. And, and I, I know it's difficult for, uh, especially in, in the new startups because things are just constantly changing and you need to be able to adjust solutions a lot of times on the fly because there's the needs of your customers are going to change. Um, and to be able to take that and scale it with your business growth at the same time um, is a, a large challenge a lot of our startups have. Um, so you've explained. Okay. So now you know the problem. I gave yep. it to you. I spilled my beans. If I can dump it out like a man in therapy, now what are you going to do? Uh, gut says start pitching and tell you why we can fix all this. Um, but what do you, but how much do you feel? Let me ask a question. Do you feel you know enough about? I know, I know, I know one thread. I need to untangle the entire sweater before I can start giving that out to you. Okay. Then, then start trying to undo the spider or whatever the web. Oh. All right. Um, so we've got the manager courses. Uh, so you've hired third party for that. Um, why not just do it yourself? How big do you think we are, man? Seriously, seriously. How big do you think we are? We don't have an in-house IT software development team. Come on, Nick. Come on. I I kind of know that I, I know this. Uh, I'm just hearing it out to admit it as well. Um, yeah, the last time you explored that one, what was stopping you from hiring someone in house? It's too happy, Weber. Okay, process what you just said. I told you I don't even want to spend thirty thousand dollars to build a new module, and now mm -hmm. you've got now you've asked me why I don't hire an internal person. At well, that's yeah, that's going to be much more. I mean, listen. List, yeah. Like I just told, I mean, look, having this conversation, part of me is like, fuck it. I need to call the guy up and just figure out how we get this thing re re scoped so that we can have a whole admin panel and we can do it and just fucking bite the bullet. That's pretty much all I, having this conversation because I'm irritated now how much I've lost and it's driving me insane. But asking me if I'm going to hire someone internally, why I haven't, I mean, you already know the answer to that. That's ridiculous. Come on. You got this, Nick. You got this. Yeah. Mm. Where do you, where, where's your angle, Nick? Where's your angle? Is what's the, what's the problem uh, that we usually solve for is either there's a time limitation, um, but you've waited two years. So the problem isn't big enough that you need to take action now, because if you can wait two years, it's not hurting you enough. You can, it feels like you're willing to wait another two years. Does that sound right? Uh, it it depends. 
It's, 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 I'm making an assumption. It what does it depend on? on? It, depends on it depends on the cost of waiting. Well, we don't know how long that list is, but at $400 a person, let's say a thousand people, there's your, what, uh, 40,000 people, $400,000. Yeah. But then I'm going to sign up. It's not that big. Well, the closing rate is at 40%. So now you're at, <laughs> yeah, that's at self-service. It's all self-service. We don't sell this. So there's no closing, right? I have no idea. And I think I'm sure, oh. Brady, I'm sure Brady is. See, you don't even know that. So you got you got oh, yeah. Come on, man. So I'm sure Brady is a conversion rate through our online ads and shit like that. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure we have one. Mm -hmm. But no, it, I can tell you right now, it's not 4,000 people. Okay. Um, well, I said that that's why I was asking earlier on how long that list was. So we can put a dollar quantify on it because that's what the losses are as far as the hard money. See, Katie Sands would be a good idea to tell him. It sounds like there may be a fit to work together and try to. Now, Katie, no, no, no. You're going too fast, Katie. No, the, 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 he's done nothing, Katie. He's done nothing to make me believe that there's a fit. If he's going to do that, he has to explain it. So I, I, if you really pay, everybody paying attention, everybody tell me, what do you think his, his in is? I've said three times what my barrier right now is. And if he can help with that barrier, then he may have an in. If he can't help with that barrier, he doesn't have an in. What is the barrier that I said? I said three times at least. You're asking everybody, you're asking me. I'll answer. At you, you can answer, but ask everybody too. Yeah. All right, give them their five, four, three, two, one. It, it's the 30,000 and it's the repeat. Ask for a check. Very good. So knowing, so, yep. I mean, knowing that, you're, you're asking for a custom piece of software. There's some custom work that goes into it. I don't have, hey, I can do it for 29.5. Let him forget it. Like, I, There's no way for me to do that now to diagnose that unless we go a little bit further on your technical requirements and what it is you're looking for and how big this project actually is. So why not? So, so if I'm in your shoes now, I'm, I'm at, I also told you, what am I not willing to do? pay again and again and again. Yes, I said that, but what else did I say I'm not willing to do? Cuz it's working. That was my that was a it's cuz it's working. So what am I not willing to do? I mean, you don't want you don't you don't want to tear it down the Yes. 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 Don't want to tear down what I got cuz it's working. Maybe right. six figures a year on it, right? So, Correct. So the question then you should be asking yourself is what is this thing he's got? And is it something that we can work with and build him that administrative piece for a lot mm -hmm. less than he thinks it should be built for? That's where you should be going. Right. Okay. Right. Like, like again, I, I'm doing your job here, but that's where you should be going. It should have said to you, okay, he's not tearing that down. He told me that he wants this to be an administ. So that's the piece you missed as well. And this was so clear. I want to be able to add videos on a regular basis, super easy. We want our mm. own proprietary LMS, right? Yeah. Okay. So, but I'm not willing to get rid of what I got. So now maybe it's where your expertise falls short, which is fine. You're a salesperson, but I'm going to want to understand, okay, what is there? And then what would it potentially take for us to take what he has and add the admin features. Right. Okay. Right. And if you can do that for a lot less than this cat that I'm working with now, you got my attention. If you can't, then you can't help me. Sure. Um, yeah. Full disclosure, as far as the, the technical requirements and, and the coding language, JavaScript and C++, I'm falling back into my technical team. And let them go yeah, at you're it. Going, you're going too far. I don't give a shit about what, what language it's built in. Did you take the course? Uh, the online course, I did not. Okay. I'm, I'm going through the book. You're going to get it now for free, so good for you. So what you could be asking is, could you just tell me about the actual course itself? What exists now? So right, you, okay. You're not doing any diagnosis of what exists now, like like literally. Okay. Okay. So what do, what do you like in the course? What is it you're trying to obviously keep everything, but what are the main important features that you're trying to add on to? Keep. That's what, what I said before, but I'll be nice. I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to make this easy for you. Currently now, 
It is a nine module, nine sectioned course for problem centric gap selling. Okay. Okay. Someone comes in, there's a landing or a homepage or market page. Someone comes in, it has all the pricing. They pick their course. They start their course, right? The course is structured beautifully. Like I, I have no qualms with they actually built from a course user perspective. It's gorgeous. Okay. Excellent UI. Um, you can't go, you can't press and go forward and skip it. So if a company buys it for their people, they can't just hit end and go to the next one. Right. Uh Oh, I froze. What the fuck? Come on. Okay. Yes. Uh, right? so, so they can't do that. Um, people can see how far people have moved through the course. It picks up where you left off. So when you're done, it picks up when you left off. Right. Um, when you, there are certain questions that, that come up. So I'll ask a question in a video. It's like, so what do you guys think? Blah, blah, blah. And you click an answer. And based on that answer, it takes you in a different direction in the, in the program. So you get different training, you get a different response, you get a different answer. Love that. Super interactive. So mm-hmm. interactive, people go back and say, well, what happens if I click this button? What, do I, what does he say, right? So I love all of that. The problem now is if I want to create the prospecting one, I can't just go to the to the uh, studio, shoot all the segments, come home, upload them, and make it again. So I need something that has admi- administrative controls that allows me to create, click new course, Right then, within the new course, create new module. I need it to be able to have logic that I can drag and drop that says, "Okay, this video, this answer, that video." You see what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. this this video gets this answer based on the on the user this video, and have that logic that allows us to tell based on the answer to a question what it serves up, and we need to be able to do all that ourselves. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, how often is it going to matter for it? Easy upload. So, it, again, I'm just recapping. We want you need to be able to go into your existing, create a new add-on just for the prospecting. Just here I can upload, cut off your segments, and then choose A, go to A1, A2, A3, depending on what those answers are. That's part yes. of it. I need, I need to be able to create a new course, number one. Yeah. Okay? So we have, we have to have infinite number of... create. Have you ever seen Teachable or School? Uh, no. Okay. That's... Okay. Everybody paying attention. When you're going into a discovery call, you would... If you're not super, if you don't have super, super high critical thinking skills, I'm not saying you do or don't, and you're not really good at running on the fly, please do some research on the company and and what they sell and what's going on and how they work. So I know you went out there and you looked, but I don't think you really understand at all um, online training. So because you don't understand online training, you're getting stuck. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. So it would have behooved you to either have signed up for it and went through it or better. Okay. Watch what I do here. Did you take the free trial? No. <laughs> that one I did not. Nick, Nick, Nick. There's literally a button that says free trial. You could have taken 30 minutes of that for free, seen how it went, see what I'm saying. So I'm describing all this stuff to you. You at least had some context to what I was talking about, right? So, yes, you have to be able to do those things you said, but you also have to be able to create a course. I walk in, I should be able to say, new course. And I should be able to click like module one, module two. Then within that, I have to have it choose your own adventure, right? And that we want to be able to do all that without coding. Just upload, drag and drop, add descriptions, you know what I'm saying? Add the the questions, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is what I would tell you. This is going to be on the internet. Uh, I don't know. Shit, it froze again. But I have all green. Okay. So here's... Um, okay. So this is what I'm going to suggest to you. Okay. Because I'm not going to give you another meeting. But this will be up in public. Mm-hmm. Have one of your freaking 
someone on your team or group you on the team, watch it. Mm -hmm. And if they think there's something they can do, send me an email with a very clear description of what you think you can do and why. Okay. Now, so if every hey Nick's team trying to help him out, you're watching this. I'm talking to you right now. Do not send me an email with a bunch of technical shit. Send me an email that says, I understand what's going on right now. We understand what you want. And it's these things. We believe we can create or build this for you economically. And I get, we don't know what that is yet. Maintaining the integrity of the old one. And here's why you believe you can do that. We'd like to talk to ask more questions to validate our assumption because you could be wrong, but I bet I see a fucking logical track or I'm out. I'm not going to answer. Right. Okay. I don't. Oh yeah, we can do it. We can do this. This, this is, I need to know why. And I need to believe that they understand what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay. okay. If you can do that and you do, I'll, I'll talk to you. Cause I'll tell Mr. you, if we can get this fixed. I'd be the happiest guy in the world. That's the, that's the goal. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, um, look, I give you credit for coming in. You took it like a champ, right? You, you were hit. You were hit. I'll give you this huge kudos. Seeing those two things blocked out. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great job. Like that is good gap selling your ability to get to why and all of that on your own. Not so good. I had to lose my shit to get there on my own. Right. Okay. So, but so your head, so the point I want to make is your head, your head's in the right place. You're, you're, beginning to think like a gap seller. So just keep working on those skills and the key piece is that empathy and put yourself in their shoes and think about their business. Get the, I got to sell shit out of your head until you understand what's going on first. Okay. okay. All right. Was that I helpful? told you there's three things. I got the one. I, I missed it, but I learned something. I appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. And you got something else. You're going to get, now you're going to even get the free trial. You got free access to the online training. So you can go in and play with it. And have okay. fun and watch it and learn. Okay. See how we can add on to it. Get the next courses. Yes. And you can learn from for yourself from a selling perspective. There's a dual win right there. Nice. Yes. All right, yeah, thanks, bro. Man. All right, man. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming on. All right. All right, everybody. There was another gap sell, Keenan. I think that was gap sell 61. Nick's a good guy. He put in a class effort. I, I have nothing but respect for people who come on and do this. Um, so I, I need to be nice. But that's what I mean, nice. He's getting free access to Gap Selling Online Training. So if you want to come on here, if you think you have a product or service that ASG needs or could use and you have a problem you think we have that you can solve, DM me on LinkedIn. Send me an email at Keenan at salesgrowth.com. I don't care. But hit me up and we'll get you scheduled and see if you can sell me. All right, everybody, get nothing but love for you. Until next time, peace. I'm out. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Get it, get it. Hate means I do something.